Welcome back. We are playing College Football Revamped, and they finally released an update for this. It's version 21. So we're going to be going off and showing off some of the new teams that are in this. Now, the new teams don't actually show up in, like, the Play Now or the Dynasty option from what I've seen so far. But what you're going to have to do is open up the Team Swapper. It's in the Dynasty tool. Pretty easy to get. Download it. Uh, Arrowhead updated this, too. It's version 2.0 now. We're going to be showing off the new teams that are in this and kind of checking them out. It's so pretty much you come to Team Swapper. You're going to come in here, and this is where I need to be, but I'll show you guys how to get there just so it's a little easier. You're going to open up the file wherever you have your RPCS3. Come into that. You're going to want to come down to the Dev HDD0. Open this up. Then you're going to want to come to Home. Click on Home. The bunch of zeros in the one. Come down to save data and then see this is where you'll have your stuff stored right here this dynasty default you could have multiple if you have a bunch of dynasties going but click whatever dynasty you want come down to user data open it'll load here pretty much you go swap out swap in so we're going to be taking out the fbs generic teams and throwing in some uh kind of these lower fcs ones you don't know like grambling state you can do quite a few from what I've seen so far. Let's swap out east. We're going to put where South Dakota at. Put South Dakota and South Dakota State in there. All right. Let's go, pa go past them for some reason. CS Midwest. Let's put South Dakota State as that one. Yeah, we're going to check out the uniforms and stuff on these, see how they look, how the stadiums look. Really not sure what's all changed. It's kind of going to be a learning experience for me, too. Down here, let's put in North Dakota State, too. All right, so once you have the teams swapped out, or the teams you want to swap out, you go to Save Dynasty File. We'll save that. <clears throat> and just like that, since I didn't take it out, Another thing some people do is uh, on that extra file they have, the save data one, some people make a copy of that because it can get corrupt, but I don't know. I've never worried about it, never had a problem with it. So let's go ahead and open our emulator back up. Come in here. As you can see, you don't even have to close it down. You can leave it running. This also works for when you're doing like the playoff setup and stuff. We'll come in here. Here's our dynasty. Pop this open. Show you guys these through the uh, custom schedules. Try and change a game here. And see, there you can see North Dakota State is now in it. Grambling State. And we didn't change FCS West, but there's South Dakota. It looks like we can't play FCS Midwest this weekend. Let's see if it's on this one. There's South Dakota again. Just want to see, make sure that SDSU made it in here. Grambling, North Dakota, South Dakota. Oh, well, why I'm not seeing South Dakota State. Oh, there they are. They're on our schedule, I guess. My bad. But yeah, there you go. Those teams are in. <clears throat> Just for show you guys again that it works, we'll change out this FC West to a team here. Back out of that. Pull up the Dynasty tool. FCS West. Should we put Drake in? Who do we all got? Missouri State, Montana. Um, let's throw in let's throw in good old Youngstown, the Penguins. We go save Dynasty file, and it already remembers where the Dynasty file was at. So that's an easy swap that way. And we'll come back to our emulator. Pop this up. Dynasty. Roll in here. Customize that schedule. Now, there's Youngstown State. So, guys, it's pretty simple like that. I'm going to be going through. The only way I know how to get these teams in here is through this method of putting them in Dynasty. And I don't think you can coach as the FCS schools. I'm not 100% sure on that. That's definitely something I want to try. What I'm going to do is set all these teams to each one of these now the ones we swapped out 
And I'm going to go ahead and simulate this, and we're going to play these games, kind of check out the uniforms and stuff like that, see how the teams look. So I'll uh, fast forward to that. All right, so first team up here is the South Dakota Coyotes. Let's go in here and check out what they all got. Looks like they got their aways, their homes. What are they all? Looks like that's about it for them, but... A little known school. It's kind of cool that they're even just in the game now. So we'll rock with that. Another thing I noticed is you can't play with these schools on at their like home field. So they must not have stadium setups for the FCS yet. All right, let's move on to the next college. All right, next up we got the Grambling State Tigers. Let's check out these guys' uniforms. So there's their away uniforms. Got the old home. You, know, you just can't go wrong with that black helmet. That just looks nice. Let's see if they have any alts. Looks like you can run a yellow. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, there's Gramlin State there. Let's move on to the next college. Alright, so here's NDSU. These guys are big in the FCS. They've won so many national titles. It's crazy. Okay, it's starting to look like these guys got a lot more options. 1970s throwback. An alt one. Alt two. I like that alt two. That looks really nice. The bison. Ooh, they got a 1980s kind of throwback too there it's looking like. Looks like it changes the logo. Nice. Well, that's cool. Oh, they even have a 1968 throwback. No patch. Hey, guys, shout out to whoever, whoever uh, went through the time and built all these. Looks really nice. Those shoes look good. The old Nikes down there. Green, white, black. They, they do have the Under Armour option, too. All right, well, there it is for NDSU. Let's move on to next team. All right, so here are the Jackrabbits from Brookings, South Dakota. Let's see what they all got for unis. The old classic aways, all white. All right. The homes. Not bad, not bad. 2017 alt. So it looks like they removed the logo on the helmet. What else do they do? Put a stripe down the pants? Ooh, they have multiple. Oh, that all blue is nice. Different looking rabbit on the helmet. No, oh, they have quite a few alts here. I like this. Yeah, I'm hoping that someday college football revamp can have these teams just in the expedition or in the base mod so you can play with these whenever you want. Loot to service. Wow, they have a lot of options on this one. Might have to play as South Dakota State sometime. This is cool. But you know what? Let's get this into a game and just show you guys how this looks in an actual game. Oh, I didn't see the old blacks yet. It's nice. Military appreciation. Salute to service. All right, we're rolling with the all blues here. Let's go. Let's get this in a game. See how these guys look. All right, it looks pretty good on the turf of Memorial Stadium so far. Let's see if we can beat these Huskers. It's going to be tough beating my favorite team, but we're going to have to do it for the video. At a 63 overall. Ouch. This guy might get bad. I think we're still, see they got the blue hair still cooking for some reason. I think that's something with that version 21 of the college football revamped. But anyways, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I think, I think I'm still on uh, Heisman difficulty, so this might be kind of hard. Let's, let's check that out, see if we still are on Heisman. House rules. Oh, we're on varsity. Okay, that's not bad. Let's rip it on varsity. Nah, let's go all American. At least give us a little challenge.
I don't know why down in that corner on our scoreboard it shows us as 4 and 11. That's kind of strange. Or 4 and 10, I mean. It should only be the third week of the season, so I don't quite get that, but who knows? It's a mod. You'll have problems. Oh, look at that. The crowd just going wild. That's something I definitely think needs to be in the next NCAA football. Definitely. I love, so like in the old ones, they used to have this momentum bar. I'm hoping they put something like that and I don't know if it's going to be NCAA 25 that they'll release next summer or if they'll hold it off another year. But either way, I love that momentum because it's so big in college football that I feel like it needs to be a part of the game too. Man, these little jackrabbits, they're moving the ball pretty good right here. Lloyd, see, I don't know if, I'm assuming that these are all the right rosters too for these FCS schools. I couldn't tell you though, I don't recognize, I don't watch any FCS or South Dakota State like that, but I might Google it, just see if these are, I'm assuming they're the right rosters, but I don't, uh, don't quote me on that. Oh, he's there. That's first down, baby. Let's go. Cornelius Lake for 26 yards. That's what we like to see. Just dumping it right over the middle. <clears throat> hey, we got that crowd quieted down, too. That's nice. Oh, that might be a pick. Ooh. It's a risky throw right there. All right, here we go. Crowd's roaring again on a second six. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, not enough for the first down, though. All right, do we do we trust our offensive line enough to smash one up the gut here quick? Do we have a fullback? I guess we'll hit him with the HB slam. Wish we had a I formation and send it up with the fullback, but let's go, boys. Oh, we got the first. That's what I'm talking about. Might put it up and shut up this home team here at home. Let's go. See, another thing they added to this revamp is like that under the goal post that runs a poster. That was never in the base game. Oh, scramble out. Get in there. That's six. Let's go, Ronnie Lloyd. Big time player. QB 12. 